Hi, my name is Kate Hennessy, and I'm the Education Director for Congregation Bait Hopperham's Sunday School Program and Family Programming. My goal at CBH is always to strive to improve and innovate to create the best experience possible for our students and our families. As we continue moving forward, we are investing in our Sunday program in three intentional ways. One, a generous $4,000 grant from Jewish Federation that will allow us to equip each of our classrooms with technology such as laptops, projectors, and whatever else we need to support our students in having a positive multimedia learning experience. Number two is a deep investment in our teachers to ensure that they can engage with their students as experts in their field. And number three, thrillingly, we are partnering with Shalom Learning, an innovative and growing curriculum that is supporting a new and relevant Jewish educational experience. As part of these efforts to really build and invest in our program, I spent a lot of time and effort researching our best options for curriculum that will engage our students while aligning with CBH values. I also talked to, I did a lot of research on my own and I talked to a lot of Jewish educators and then I discovered Shalom Learning. What I love about Shalom Learning is not only is it engaging and hands-on, but it's incredibly innovating. I really see this as the future of where Jewish education is going. I love the Jewish values lens that the curriculum is built around and I love that it's designed to be seamless between in-person and online programming. As educators, this creates a platform for us and a resource that can help us to consistently support our students' Jewish educational experience. Shalom Learning also has a lot of built-in support and professional development for our teachers, which was another big focus of mine. I wanted us to have the best teachers possible to engage with their students. And to do that, we have to create uh, a structure within which our teachers can really, really strive. So I think between our raising our teacher pay rate this year and also the way that all this is built in with this professional development and Shalom Learning will create that structure. The Shalom Learning curriculum has gotten great endorsements as well. Hi, I'm Rabbi Alana Perry, Director of the Jewish Education Collaborative at Jewish Federation. I'm here to say how happy I am to support our community partnership with Shalom Learning. Shalom Learning is a nationally renowned and highly respected Jewish education platform. During the past year, the Jewish Education Collaborative seized an opportunity to partner with Shalom Learning to bring this excellent technology platform into more of our local programs at an affordable cost. This partnership has enabled many of Atlanta's Jewish education programs to accelerate meaningful learning, both online and face-to-face. -face. The program continues to gain traction as more people continue to come to appreciate both the quality and the convenience that Shalom Learning provides. Locally, the number of Atlanta congregations who are adopting the Shalom Learning resources continues to grow. Some congregations have adopted one of two Hebrew curricula offered by Shalom Learning to teach both Hebrew decoding and prayers. Others have opted, adopted Shalom Learning's Jewish values curriculum for Judaics, and some places have embraced both. Every congregation in this partnership has access to training resources and consulting services as well through, through Shalom Learning, as well as a roster of trained teachers across the country who can teach remotely in any Shalom Learning program, either as substitutes or on a more permanent basis. Teachers and education directors love the Shalom Learning curricula because the high quality lesson plans are ready for immediate application in the classroom but they're also flexible enough to be adapted to each teacher's interests and strengths. And students love Shalom Learning resources too, because lessons are fun and interactive and they often integrate technology. It's also not a static curriculum, meaning that Shalom Learning's leadership is continually working to evolve and improve the content and the approach based on feedback and best practices in the field. This is something I really appreciate. From a Federation standpoint, we are thrilled to serve as a bridge between our congregations and Shalom Learning because we know they are a strong and reliable partner that will help to accelerate innovative teaching and exciting learning in our supplemental Jewish education programs. Shalom Learning has been a great partner for our 
our Atlanta Jewish community, and we can't wait to see the ways in which they can help us to grow. Thanks for your time. King Solomon famously said in Proverbs, you should teach a child according to their way. This means finding ways to engage with the student according to their individual personality and not forcing them to fit into a generic mold. As a Jewish educator, this is something by which I steer my career. Different students have different learning types and I want to support and celebrate that. Having the options of traditional learning, movement-based learning, learning through art and sound, and now learning with quality visual references and video clips is all part of that vision to elevate and celebrate every student. This is a key component and value of the CBH Community School. Not only do we embrace differences, but we celebrate them. And I wanna provide clarity for those who are rightly wondering what kind of rabbinic presence they can expect this year during all the staff transitions at CBH. We are fortunate to have Rabbi Dale step in as our interim rabbi, and she and I have already begun the collaboration process to figure out how she can best show up to support our Sunday school. From our first meeting, Rabbi Dale has already expressed incredible excitement and enthusiasm for finding ways to bring a rabbinic touch to our school this year. Shalom, I'm Rabbi Dale Friedman, CBH's interim rabbi, and I'm so excited to be part of this community. And one of the things that really draws me is the CBH Community School and the creative and visionary leadership of Kate Hennessy, the new curriculum that's going to be so exciting to see uh, rolled out. And I look forward to praying with the school families. I look forward to learning and teaching and celebrating together. It's going to be a great year. One of our most popular returning Sunday teachers, Henry Lewis, was kind enough to put together a little sample for us. Good morning to the grown-ups of my possible new students. Uh, welcome to this mini uh, demonstration. My name is Henry, uh, my pronouns are he and him, and I taught seventh grade this past year with CBH Community School. I've also been involved with the school since joining the substitute list in December of 2016. I absolutely love being a part of this school. Uh, it connects me with the students. I love working with the students. Um, the connection I'm making with both my synagogue as well as to stay connected with another generation. Uh, also, what I want to share with you today is Shalom Learning. This is a brand new curriculum that we're rolling out this fall at the school, and we're very excited for all the variety and the um, enhancements that it brings to our school. Uh, this can be done, you know, in, by Zoom or in person. All lessons can be done either way, so it gives us a lot more flexibility. And that also means, of course, we'll have the technology in the classroom so that we can uh, supplement with additional items, videos, you know, or other things that we may find that can be very appropriate, but we did not have the ability to share before. So that is also very exciting. And so I'm going to walk us through very quickly uh, a lesson. This particular lesson about Gevara or inner strength. Um, is designed for third to fourth graders, and all the lessons are about two hours of instruction time, depending on breaks and recess. So first thing we start with, of course, is what's the schedule? What's the calendar for today? So you can see we have a welcome, we have a set of activities, we might have recess, uh, break, you know, if we're on Zoom, step away for a few minutes, and then come back, have some more activities, and then of course the wrap up to try and tie up the day's lesson plan in a nice neat bow as well as you can. To me, the welcome is absolutely critical for how I want my class to go. The reason for that is it's a chance to help draw the students in, get them focused on the day, and to check in, build the relationships, kind of find out where everybody's head is. You know, did you not sleep well last night? Are you excited about a soccer game? You know, so how can we connect and how can I understand how each student, where each student's uh, mind is 
so that I can help pull them into the class so that they can be contributing members of class and be participating for the next couple of hours. So that's how you know, I like to really use that particular part. Then we move on to talking about what's the top main topic of the day. What's our theme? Obviously here we have Gevara uh, and this is the theme. We could you know, share some examples and begin the conversation. We can move in and we'll relate it to uh, biblical stories um, that, you know, show on this. Talk about Moses, you know, how about Aaron? You know, where does that come into play? You know, right here, we have a video clip that uh, Shalom Learning provides us. We also have the ability in, to insert our own video clip or pictures and slides that go with it. You know, with a, you know, when we're talking about the text study, when we're talking about biblical stories, you know, let's bring this home to them. How can they connect it to who they are and relate it to their world? In this particular lesson plan, there was not an activity that has them doing more than just conversation or watching a video. And some of the lesson plans do. So we have a chance to insert something. You know, one possible activity for Gevara could be, you know, handing out construction paper um, to each student, have them roll it into a column, stack books on it, and see how many books it takes before it collapses. Then get a new piece of construction paper, crumple it up, then smooth it out again. It may look the same. How many books does it take this time before it collapses? So what's the difference? Crumpled construction paper can represent the fragility of inner strength. It can also show you know, how fragile we are on the inside that people may not see if you've smoothed out your paper very well. So let's talk about that. What can we do to support someone who uh, has the crumpled paper? You know, what can you do to help support a family member or a friend who is the crumpled paper instead of the smooth, you know, sturdy uh, construct paper. Then we can also move into the text study, as I alluded to earlier. Talk, you know, in this case, talking about with Rabbi Hillel, some of Rabbi Hillel's teachings. Once again, bringing that back to how is it relevant? What can we learn from this? You know, what's related to strength? Bravery? What about fear? Can you be brave and afraid at the same time? Can you be extremely strong in your inner strength and still be afraid? I'd say absolutely. <laughs> then, you know, we try and pull it all together and help continue to give them the opportunity to connect it to themselves. You know, what can they do in the coming week to help show Gevara? What can they do to help strengthen their Gevara? How do you strengthen your strength? Uh, how can you help others? You know, how can you recognize in others, family members or friends? So there is a very brief example of where we are on a possible lesson plan. Hopefully that was helpful. And once again, as I said, hopefully you're uh, the grown-ups of my potential new students. And if not my students, then I'll see you in the hallways as uh, your students are in a different class. Thank you so much. We are really excited and proud of all the work we're doing to innovate our Sunday program and support our students, parents, and teachers. CBH Community School is a part of Beit Havarim. So this is, these achievements are something for us all to develop about together, whether or not you have a child in the Sunday School. So please spread the word, be excited with us. And I am so thankful and honored to be on this journey with everyone at CBH. If you have any questions at all, I warmly invite you to reach out to me to set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment so we can speak further. You can email me to set up an appointment using my email address, education at cbhatlanta.org. Shalom, friends.